Well, another chance for the uh, army to make their mark, and already you can hear the volume being turned up for Lance Corporal Stevie Turner. Serves with the uh, UK Signal Regiment. This is his uh, third ABA final, incidentally, tonight. It is third different weight category as well. Let's remember 67 kilos. And his opponent, Yorkshireman Damon Jones from the uh, West Leeds Amateur Boxing Club. Again, there are just a, a few formalities to go through before all is uh, ship shape inside the ring. Jeff Cannell will uh, take charge of this one. Number seven is an ABAE Elite National Championship final for 2011. This time at welterweight, under 67 kilograms. This is three three-minute rounds between and introducing in the red corner and representing the Army and Combined Services Boxing Association, Steve Turner. And in the blue corner, representing the West Leeds Amateur Boxing Club, Damon Jones. Turner in the red, Jones in the blue. The referee, Mr. Jeff Cannell. This is a welterweight final. It's three three-minute rounds. Seconds out, first round. Well, ABA champions at this weight in the past have included the likes of Welshman Colin Jones, world champion Joe Calzaghi, and uh, more recently Matthew Macklin. So follow that if you can, guys. Interestingly, Phil, the Calzaghi won. He won three different ABA titles at three different weights. Welterweight, light middleweight, middleweight in successive years. Well, in a sense, maybe uh, Turner is following him in that this is his uh, third tilt at an ABA title hasn't been successful so far but all three are different weight categories yeah. 60 kilos 2005 64 kilos 2008 67 kilos this year 2011 seems to save his best for every three years <laughs> he's setting a knee that against Damon Jones from West Leeds amateur boxing club showing a nice sad paw style yeah, is it just me, or are there more and more southpaws about these days? Seem to have had quite a few of them already tonight. Yes, a lot more on show tonight. Put the army man showing a nice tight guard. Again, you always get that little clash of styles when they get up close together. Once again, it's a, a mixture of uh, youth and experience in the final, really. Turner with well, more than 70 bouts under his belt, an England international against uh, another teenager, up-and-coming Damon Jones, just 18 years of age. The right hand there from the army man. Okay, slightly... Rock Young Jones. Jones, who uh, started his amateur career with the Batesons Amateur Boxing Club before the switch more recently to West Leeds. Looking to do his uh, new club proud tonight if he can. But to be fair, he's already done that by simply making this final but just making the final not enough for these fellas. It's all about who takes the title. Dane Turner showing a tight defence. Again, not many scoring shots in this first round, Phil. And it's been a much calmer pace than uh, some that have gone before. Maybe just a case of uh, eyeing each other up, keeping the powder dry. Let's see what the other man's got in round two. As Mickey said, not a great deal to uh, say about that in terms of scoring shots. 
Uh, every amateur contest, indeed every professional contest is different. Some come flying out of the block, some uh, take their time. Nine minutes to uh, work with, take too long in the amateur business. Just a bit of the action there. You can see very few clean shots get getting through from our other man. It's all pretty even, Stevens. As we approach the second round. Yeah, just a reminder that a clean shot effectively has to be won, uh, which is uh, legally delivered, and which three of the five judges uh, press their button simultaneously or pretty nearly simultaneously at ringside. And that's the way the boxers score. All points totted up at the end, which gives us our 2011 ABA Elite Champion, who will be the next name on the Roll of Honor. Well, Jones with his name on his shorts, the uh, Combined Services Boxing Association, the initials thereof on the shorts of Stevie Turner, who maybe feels he's uh, overdue a title, but I'm afraid you don't get them for long service. They have to be hard-earned in the ring. No, it's Damon Jones, his palm of his, his lead hand. Got right and a good right hand there from Steve Turner. And Jones just occasionally adjusting his head guard as well. It's again the overhand right getting through from the army man. I think Jones, you know, shouldn't pour his jab. He's got to make it a scoring shot. He's just pouring it out. Looking to get his backhand off. He had a little bit of success with an uppercut. Shout from behind me is driving back, Damon. Nice jab there. Still yet to really Jones. catch fire this one. Young Jones, I ain't overawed by the experience. Such a big occasion, Phil, getting to ABA National Finals at a young age. Turner using all his guile. I'm sure he's uh, been up against many southpaws before, so this will be nothing new to him. Just about be able to uh, hear the chants from the uh, army colleagues that Turner has in the crowd. Like I say, Colchester, a big base for the British Army. The boxing team headquarters are in Aldershot, but uh, Colchester is the home to a great many British soldiers. Damon Jones a bit farther from home, but uh, has his backers too, and they're urging him to uh, really get into this contest now. So two down, one to go. Remember, we're in the uh, 67 kilo category. Yeah. Little drink, little drink. Edge your way in, edge your way in. But we've got to get in the corner. Because he's looking at the ball every time we come in. So yeah. We've got edge your way in. Trigger, instructions from his in corner. corner. Yeah. So we've triggered, got him in the corner, and we've got to go in. So we've got to go in. To eventually deliver that elusive ABA title, which he so wants. See from the action here. Turner getting through with right hand again. You see young Jones pouring with his jab. Give me a decent up now. Give me a decent up now. A decent up now. A good up now. Jones, another of the uh, former junior ABA champions, 
Now making the uh, step up to senior level. Incidentally, he beat Craig Dixon on the way to this final, uh, a name of note. And what has he got left in this final three minutes against the experienced Lance Corporal Stevie Turner? They're starting off brightly in the third round, Jones. Yeah, a bit more purpose about his work here, which is good to see. Maybe not being quite such an eye-catching final, this one, but absorbing nonetheless. Good lift down there from Jones. Hey, stop. Jones' is corner being sold off, encouraging their young, their man. As you said, Phil, it's been an absorbing final. Hasn't had the cut and thrust of some of the uh, previous encounters. Perhaps a, a more difficult one to score. He's having a good third round here. Damon Jones. He just appears to be boxing in a more positive fashion, Jones. It's almost as though it's taken him a round or two to really convince himself that he belongs here and he's got a chance of winning this title he's doing well in the third plenty of advice from the uh, outside of the ring for the referees never mind for the fighters He's finally going to get a warning. Steve Turner. A good third round this for Jones. He's got real bounce in his step and his box exit in this third round. Young Jones, he really has. Just wonder why perhaps we didn't see a bit more of this earlier, but uh, everybody has their game plan. He knew the fight he wanted to fight, and maybe it was to come on strong towards the end. That's it, it was a big, big occasion. You know, now he's finally settled into it. Again, he's got the scoring shots here. Well, a great contest. Turner's expression suggests that uh, he knows it's really in the balance. A little uh, nod from uh, Damon Jones as he gets back to his corner. So maybe it's going to continue the trend with the young uns being the good uns tonight. Trophy presentations to this contest to be made by the acting England coach, Mr. Martin Hutley. Martin Hutley to the trophy table, please. Thank you. Great. Now, once again, ladies and gents, your appreciation, please, for both our finalists. Thank you. And the result of bout number seven, the winner, an ABAE Elite National Champion for 2011 at Welterweight, with a score of 31 points to 13, Jones in the blue corner. Third time unlucky for Turner. Friday the 13th strikes as and far as he's concerned. Please for the Army and Combined Services, Steve Turner. Thank you. But I think... Damon Jones, as he certainly showed in that third round, a worthy, worthy winner. He certainly was, and 
It's a real joy to watch in that third round. And at such a young age, we've got another star for the future. Well, it seems at the moment that if you've got a two at the front of your age, you're past it because the teenagers are taking over. Which is great to see, though, Phil, isn't it? You know, like, you know, these, these clubs are producing fine talent, so the future bodes well for amateur boxing. So it's 18-year-old uh, Yorkshireman, Damon Jones, who can now pose for the pictures and can now call himself an ABA senior champion. A priceless prize for a young boxer. OK, let's uh, have a word then with Damon, the, uh, the new champion. And uh, Damon, I know that uh, you've already spotted that the, uh, the top's missing off your trophy, but that's uh, not, uh, not a big problem really in the overall scheme of things, is it? No, no, I may be a champion, that's the main thing. <laughs> and what will the reaction be back in Leeds tonight, do you think, at this result? Everyone will be ecstatic, because I've trained hard where I deserve it, so it's all good. <laughs> No doubt at all that you uh, put in everything you possibly could in that bout, was there? Yeah, oh, definitely I did, yeah. <laughs> well, let's bring Steve in because uh, he's no stranger to Hatton TV. This time, uh, Steve, didn't quite come, come true for you, did it? No, nah, it's my third ABA final and uh, I've been around the block a long time, a bit longer than I should have in some ways, but fighting these up-and-coming you know, lads in the, at the top of the game. Jonesy done, done a, the blinding today and deserved it by, by a long shot. Yeah, but it's a very worthy champion, one of the new crop, maybe. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, lads like that just keep, keep the sport going, and uh, they're a positive, positive output on the future. But as for me now, that's it. I've spoke to a few of my army lads, my coaches. This is the end of my game. I'm retiring after this bout, looking at our, my army career and pushing on, getting married in the summer, so that's me. I'm done. Just like to thank the army boys for supporting me, my family, for all the, for all the years, and thank everybody. Great way to go out. Well done, Steve. Well done, Damon, the new champion. Thank you.